Okay everyone, so in this Shopify simple theme tutorial, part number 11, we're gonna learn how we can set up checkout settings. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so in this uh, part number 11, we're gonna set up our checkout settings. So to do this, just go down here, right here, uh, to settings, click on that, go to checkout. All right, so first we have style, we already did that in the past uh, video. Then we have customer accounts. Uh, so choose if you want to prompt your customers to create an account when they check out. So we got accounts are disabled. That means they can check out as guests. Accounts are optional. They can check out with customer account or as guest. Accounts are required, so they need to have a customer account to check out. So I will leave this at uh, accounts are disabled. Then we can go to customer contact. So choose which contact method your customers can use to check out and receive updates. So you can choose uh, customers can check out using either their phone number or email. Be aware of that uh, customers who choose to check out using their phone number will get order updates by SMS. So this means that their email may not be collected during checkout. All right. So I'm going to choose checkout using email. Uh, additional contact method. Customers can choose to add a phone number or email to receive shipping updates after they complete their order. So yes or no. Then we have form options. Uh, full name. Uh, last name only. Uh, first and last name. Company hidden optional required. Address hidden optional required. Shipping address phone number hidden option required okay so choose what you want to have order processing uh, change how your store respond to check out and order events so while the customer is checking out use the shipping address as the billing address by default uh, require a confirmation step so customers must review their order details before purchasing all right, so this is an extra step for your customers. Uh, enable address auto completion. So gives customers address suggestions when they enter their shipping and billing address. Yes or no? You also have this one. If the customer abandons the checkout, you can send them an email reminder to complete their order. So if selected, reminders will be sent to all customers including those that don't accept marketing. So you can choose never or 1, 6, 10, 24 hours later. We've got 1 and 10 hours recommended. You can also customize abandoned checkout. So you can edit this one if you know what you're doing. You can also click on preview and send test email. Okay, so if you've made any changes, then click on save. So let's go back. Okay, then we have ask for permission to send promotional emails. By default, customer agrees. By default, customer doesn't agree. So yes or no. After an order has been paid, automatically fulfill the orders line items or only for gift cards or do not automatically fulfill i'm gonna leave uh, this one at the moment after an order has been fulfilled and paid uh, automatically archive the order yes or no uh, checkout language so your store checkout page is displayed in english so if you want to change this one, just click on Manage Checkout Language. And then we have Refund 
privacy and TOS statement. You can just click on generate sample refund policy. Uh, same thing with privacy and terms of service. So you can just check this out and edit what you want to edit on all of these. So when you are done, just click on save. And if you want to have this uh, in the menu, just copy the text. Go to online store, click on pages, add a new page. Uh, paste the text right here. Add a title. Okay, then click on save. Then we can go to navigation, go to footer menu, then click on add menu item, click on link, choose pages, click on terms of service, then click on add. Okay, uh, then click on save menu. So let's go back to the store and have a look. If you go down, we have it right here. Terms of service. If you click on this one, we have the terms of service right here. Okay, everyone. So this is how you can set up your checkout settings in your Shopify store. So let's go to part number 12. Okay, everyone. So I hope you now have set up your checkout settings. If you want, subscribe right here. Just click on this image. So let's go to part number 12. Just click on this image. Alright, so I hope you have an awesome day, take care and bye.